today we check out the incredible story of a woman of a woman of a woman of a woman who lost 130 pounds pretty much a whole person she went from a size 26 to a size 6 I would try any fad diet that came along. I've done everything. People used to email me diets and we would try it together. We would have clubs together, start on Mondays. And it, I would always go back to the double, triple cheeseburger. Two years ago, Sandy Brown shrunk from a size 26 to a size six. The first week I did go shopping, I would ask a sales assistant to help me. I would scream it across the store. I wanted everybody to hear, can you find this in a size two? To finally lose the weight, Sandy consulted a naturopath. He prescribed an herbal concoction to help her detox her body. To me, I lost the whole person, another personality, and my soul and my being um, just flushed away with all of the weight. Sandy's catalyst for weight loss was fighting a domestic war at home. I was an abuse wife. That whole thing just crushed my world to know that somebody would say that they would love you forever and then beat you and leave you for dead. And I wasn't really uh, getting support because one pastor told me that God hates divorce. And he said, you can't get a divorce, you just have to take it. And I took it. It says in the Bible that God does hate divorce, but he also says, choose life over death. I have the right spirit now. It's like I've turned over a new leaf, and I know it's because I had to get the junk out of my body, out of my system, out of my being. I want to be a beacon of light to those that want to lose weight, and it's not hard at all. What does it take to get people to the point where they want to make a change? I mean, people talk about it and talk about it, but what is it that really gets them to say, this is it, I'm going to do it now? God gave us an imagination for a reason, you know? And when we sit and imagine and meditate on the good things about life and the good purpose that we have in life, I think that can start helping as well as being support systems to one another, mm -hmm. the mentorship, the mm -hmm. friendship, mm -hmm. not being judgmental. Most people that have fallen or that are in a bad place, mm -hmm. it's because there's some kind of a hurt or a wound or brokenness in their life. Right. Exactly. And what's interesting is that she seems to have tied right. her weight to her emotions. Yeah. And I, you know, 80% of African American women are overweight according yes. to the most recent data, which is the worst in our history that we've ever been. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how much of it, of our obesity, of our being overweight, how much of that is tied into self-esteem and who we are. That's what I wonder. I would say 100% of it. And mm -hmm. if you just look at the physical metaphor for weight, it's armor. I'm putting on armor defense. to try to make myself wow. safe. Yeah. How do you and even so, well, it also, didn't make her safe. I also feel addiction is addiction. I mean, when the reason why people would go to do drugs and alcohol, it's because they're trying to run from something that's making that's right. them feel bad. That's or right. what if they and, just want to have a good time? Why does it always have to be something tragic or, you know, over the top? I, I agree with Tone. Every addiction is not you know, masquerading pain. I mean, it could be you, just you go out, you go leisure. have fun, you love it, you enjoy it, and you just you and become the, addicted and to or it. You get Why addicted, can't that be? Or getting addicted to the chemical that causes you to want it. Sure. You know what it's, I'm saying? There's so. that, but what happens is if you go in 12-step programs, most people will say when they clean up, good news, bad news. Good news is I'm feeling my feelings. Bad news, I'm feeling my feelings because there's pain behind the addiction. What about genetics right. sometimes where you're genetics, already prone yeah. to be... definitely play a part. Okay. There is a say... predisposition, but the problem is with all predispositions, just because you have the genetics, you won't get addicted unless there is a trigger. If there's a trigger that tips you over the edge, there's an incident or there's unhealed pain or, or there's usually, a wound. Usually, a I can agree with, with, with yeah. some of what she's mm -hmm. saying because a person's not going to just wake up one day and say, I need to get high every single yes. day yes. of my life. Yes. I mean, okay, we got to leave it right.